we'd start school, I think it was around 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, once we got to school, we would go straight to our classrooms. Um, you know, the first grade, second grade, third, fourth, and fifth, and sixth, and seventh grade, they were all right there in a the general area. Um, you know, we we uh, started class. Usually, you know, it was, it was a good start of the day. Um, we would uh, have lunch usually around 12 o'clock, uh, eat lunch at 12 o'clock. And normally our school day would end between 2 o'clock and maybe 3 o'clock. And uh, then, you know, we always had a recess, especially the younger kids that just run off some energy and burn some energy and, and wake us up a little bit more or give us something, <laughs> get some of that energy out of us. But we, we always enjoyed that. I, I still remember Miss Moten ringing her bell to let the kids know it was t it, recess was over and everybody would just take off and run to where she was. We would line up, get in line uh, by class and just going back into the building and learn more. All of my elementary school teachers, Miss Harris, Miss Francis, second grade, Miss Moten, Miss Cross, uh, Miss Ashford, Miss Singletary, and also Miss Parks. They were my first seven teachers in that order. Uh, but I probably the teachers that meant the most to me, um, I'm not saying they didn't mean a lot to me, but two of them went to Hanley with me during my eighth grade year. Mr. Henry Battle, who was probably my favorite teacher uh, in all times. And Miss Marcus, Miss uh, Miss Lomax, Miss Marcus Lomax, I can't remember how do you pronounce her name, but they were at Hanley when I really needed them. And they were both there to make sure that I was doing okay, I was doing the best I could. Uh, one taught history and the other one taught, taught me English. And uh, they were, it was just comforting to have them in the school with me at that time because uh, they reminded me and a lot of us, this is what you're here for, okay? This is what we want you to do. This is what we want you to uh, um, uh, do to be successful. And, you know, without them, I don't know if I would have been able to make it. And uh, But, you know, those two, then uh, Miss Lett, I had her at Hanley, she was also at Douglas, but all these teachers from Douglas and Mr. Brooks. Uh, I learned some very valuable lessons from Mr. Brooks because Mr. Brooks did not play games with you. He was very strict, he was uh, stern, and he made you want to do what you wanted, what you had to do and what you should have done. You know, um, show up on time. Think before you speak, <laughs> okay? Do the little things and they become the big things in your life. You know, we learned that at Douglas, okay? Because you, we didn't just, we weren't able to just speak out when we wanted to. When you had a, an answer, you raised your hand. I got thrown out of class at Douglas for not raising my hand and in, in fifth grade. And I, don't, I still could not understand for a long time, what did I do wrong? And the teacher said, just told me, get out. And I answered the question. I know I had the question right but I forgot to raise my hand. But it was one of the life's lessons. It's the proper way of doing things. And those are the things that I try to get kids at, at, at Hanley to do. Don't come in there and tell me that, you know, I was late because I felt like being late. No, you're not gonna get away with that, huh? No, we, we, we won't talk about this. We won't make it better, okay? Think before you speak, okay? You can lie to me, but I'm gonna find out if it's a lie. Because, you know, kids, I think kids trusted me and they knew that what I was trying to do was what, what was best for them. And I think that's all the stuff that I learned from Douglas in my early education to where we, where, where I am right now and with these kids. Um, it was fun. <laughs>